today is the official return of Dallas back full time. Sir. There he is, and he's gonna get on rolling greens. And Wow. So yeah, welcome back to Monday. Like I said, Dallas will be rolling greens. George is gonna be doing the roughs. Ethan will be on, wow, was that bright? Ethan will be on uh, T-duty to start. And Dawson will be on the bunkers. Andre's gonna mow the clubhouse and Mike is gonna go and spray. And right now I'm gonna go show Ethan how to make T-mix. And then I'm gonna take the walk behind these old puppies right here because we're going to start doing the cleanup passes on the greens and the tee offs but i'm going to take the tee uh the, the one for the tee offs because that one's a greens that one's for the tees i'm going to take the one for the tees and go cut the nursery a spot on the nursery because we're stepping it down to turn part of the nursery into uh a green so yeah off to show uh ethan t-mix right now Look at work hours and they're over there bullshitting. Work hours and they're standing in a circle talking, doing nothing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Get to work! Yes, sir! <laughs> Alright, and for our tea mix, I tweaked the uh, formula a little bit this year. I have them doing 25 loads, when I say loads, it's uh, shovelfuls, 25 loads of topsoil, and then also 25 loads of sand. And then uh, we do Kentucky bluegrass seed, and also uh, creeping bent grass, and malorganite. We do, uh, this gets filled with the creeping bent grass and uh, Kentucky bluegrass, and this gets filled with malorganite. And we toss it in there and mix it up. And that is our tea mix. And a little change of plans. The trailer for this, we need two new tires on the trailer, so I'm not gonna be able to do this today, so I'm gonna go out and figure out something else to do. We got plenty to do, so I'll keep busy. All right, here's the, uh, the chemical being used for spraying today. We got a little bit of iron. We got a little bit of insecticide. And that's fungicide that's being put into the tank right now. I mean, mainly for the dollar spot that has popped up on some of the fairways. Anything to add? Not at the moment. All right. You pretty much laid it out for us. <laughs> All right, so Mike is going out and he's gonna start spraying, and I'm just setting up for the next for the next batch. And here is the it's a climate controlled little room that we have. It's a little messy right now, but there's all the chemical. It's a lot of money worth of chemical. And here's today's application. You see the exterus, the merit insecticide, and the iron. Well, I wanted to go and uh, fix the beginning of the 18 fairway, that fertilizer burn. I wanted to take a chunk of sod from our nursery and uh, put it in place of the fertilizer burn turf. But we have no machines right now for me to utilize that. And I don't want to, uh, to do that. And I don't want to utilize the golf cart for that. So in the meantime, uh, they want the pull carts in the gazebo. 
So I'm going to kind of rework this whole gazebo and clean it up up here. I mean, it's right off of 10 T off. And it just, it just kind of looks trashy up here in person. It might not look bad on camera, but, but yeah, all these pull carts need to go in there. Which, I don't know if I like the idea, but I don't know. I'm going to rework this and make it look decent. So I'll send you a pic afterward or a video clip afterwards. And I love how our last year we didn't get, it was a dry season. We didn't get any rain. Well, we got some, but not enough for all that tall fescue to grow. It gets beautiful between every, between every hole now we have tall fescue. And it just, I like the definition. I like everything about it. Like up there, you can see it. You see the rough right here. Then the tall fescue starting right there between every hole. I just love that look. Well, there. It's still kind of eh, but it's at least cleaned up a little bit better. Put the benches out here on each side. Gave more room up there. We have a bench right here. The ball washing station for our range balls is right there. You put the you could put the good balls right here and the garbage balls in there. Then we got our pull carts lined up with the good range balls right here. These got to be cleaned out better, but so there. Let's see how long it stays neat and organized up here. I mean, you think you'd want to keep it neat and organized. It's right off the clubhouse, so. Yeah, let's keep this nice. And we're starting our irrigation system up. We haven't needed to. It's been down because we've been getting so much rain lately. But we're starting it up and right now I'm just checking the pressure right now where we're at. And also, unfortunately, last week, our fountain on 9 stopped working. Now, this is this is a brand new fountain as well. Uh, we got it last end of last year, so it ran for about a month last year, last summer, and then maybe a month this summer. So, yeah, that's that sucks. So hopefully we can, I'm going to, I'm going to try to get the uh, numbers off of it. And see if we can reorder it or see if we can get if there was a warranty on it because that's kind of ridiculous although this pump runs day and night it, it needs to be set on a timer so at the end of the day or in the late evening it automatically shuts down i'm sure that's part of the reason it's just wearing the uh wearing that motor out being it's just running constantly 24 hours a day but yeah we need to get this fixed because that, i, I this pond needs that fountain it just gives it that little bit of uh that i don't know gives it that pizzazz that look i don't know <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna try to get the information off try to get the information off this so we can order a new one and they're not very cheap i think it's i think it was a thousand maybe two thousand for one of these 1400 something like that just hemorrhaging money here god damn it
Well, we're off to a different part of the course to go and get uh, a couple bigger rocks. So it's going to be a four-man operation. I'll take the John Deere and try to try to scoop them in a bucket as best I can. And then, uh, yeah, then we can put them to the right side of a cart path. Well, we ended up getting a couple bigger rocks for next to eight cart path. This one was a beast. But yeah, because these are way too small. But now we're going to drop that big one right here. I'll move out of your way. I'm going to have to come around. I'll probably have to take the tractor and... But yeah, this will look good with the big rock. Hit the bumper. I can I can move it with the tractor a little bit. Can't believe the bumper survived that. Right. Well, there we go. Mission complete. We got the rock. Looks good. And we, me and Mike both thought Dawson was a little stronger than anticipated. Uh, oh, yeah. It was a mild letdown. Couldn't even curl a fork. Couldn't curl a fork. They couldn't take it off. Proud to be an American, or at least to know I'm free. All right, we are back, and as you've seen, we cut fairways today, and uh, yeah, we're done. It didn't take that long. We cut straight up, so it was only a, it took about approximately a little over three hours to do all the fairways between me and Mike. So now we had sent the boys, we're going to do some tree transplanting. We have a bunch of random trees right by the shop, and well, that's what they're doing right now. So we're gonna take these trees. Went out yesterday, and I we marked like we're gonna start on hole one. We did a bunch of spots where it looked good where trees where it would look good if trees were planted. So we we put a bunch of spots on the right side of one, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get these trees out of the ground, and then we're gonna immediately go and plant them where we have them marked. So that's gonna be what the uh, morning consists of. All right, so I brought I brought the boys out and I showed them where we marked yesterday. So there's just a couple circles on the right side of one like that. So we went ahead and put one in. So we got one tree in, or two trees in, and we're gonna we're gonna continue on hole one, the whole right side, adding trees where trees used to used to have been. All right, I came over to 18, that fertilizer burn. I wasn't able to do this the other day, so I'm going to do it today. 
and uh, most of it grew back up there here and over there but there's a spot right here that did not and a little spot here so I'm gonna take from the nursery so cut it out put it and we'll go set it down in the nursery and we'll cut it to fit cut it to size and then replace it with nursery set nursery saw and this eyesore can finally go away We got uh we got it in. It doesn't look the best right now, but I know I tampered it down and everything, but having them drive over it a few times anyway. And I'll put a little water down on it. And that'll settle. I mean I I'd rather keep it a little higher than low. Because you know with water and people driving on it, just natural natural uh it'll settle naturally. So yeah. That's gonna be it. So yeah, not a bad day. All the fairways cuts, greens cut. Got this done. Started transplanting uh, trees like you've seen in the videos. And we'll continue doing the tree transplant. That'll be like the secondary job throughout the week. Because we uh, went out and marked a bunch of trees that we can start transplanting. Starting on hole one and then go. One, two, three, four in order. So yeah, that's going to do it for this overcasty Tuesday and uh, we will see you tomorrow how you take it off though? All right, how you take it off? just push the gas pedal hard there you go all right and we are back and today we got uh we got another newbie, another new kid. Oh, he's going the wrong way. Oh, no, there he goes. We got another new kid. He's on his way. He's going with uh, Dallas right now to do bunkers. I don't know if I actually said this the last time, but Dallas is now back full time. I can't remember if I mentioned that in the last video, but yeah, we got Dallas back full time. So that's a, that's a plus. So yeah, he's taking, the kid's name is Keith Jr. He's taking Keith Jr. out and showing him how to do bunkers. And then uh, today I'm doing tee-offs and everybody else is doing their normal jobs. Actually, Andre is going around right now and staining all the, we put the logs around the cart path. And he's going around, he debarked them and now he's staining them. So uh, yeah, that's how the morning is gonna, is gonna start.
All right, so as you just seen, we cut, I cut Tios today, and now uh, I came up to check on Dallas, because right now Dallas is verticutting the nursery, and uh, the new boy, Keith, he is going to take and blow all this thatch from the nursery, off the nursery, when Dallas is done. So yeah, I wanted to, wanted to come check on Dally. Well, right now I got Ethan filling a little bucket of water and all them trees that we planted yesterday he's gonna go and give them a drink we have the we have the system at night that waters but it, it's just not enough so yeah I think we have what seven or eight new little trees planted so seven or eight buckets of water or one bucket per tree just for the first couple weeks keep them keep them alive and healthy and there's Dally and the newbie. They can go and uh, get some trees that are trans that I have marked out there and transplant. Here, Dallas is always good for YouTube gold. We'll get him to talk. Dallas. How do you feel about being back at work? You enjoying it? Yeah, I am enjoying it. You know, as long as I'm not uh, doing tea duty, I'm fine. <laughs> I just I, told I just told everybody here, well, everybody, people that are watching, I'm like, I gotta get Dallas on video. He's YouTube gold. <laughs> exactly. And you yeah. just literally disappointed me a little bit. What, what do you mean? You didn't really do anything. You didn't say much. Any substance? There was nothing to it. You know. Well, I was supposed to say I just don't like tea duty. Yeah, that was. You know, I expected more. Just. Prepare next time for more. The extra? <laughs> Is Ethan wiring the trees? Alright, so to end the day today, I took Dallas and I am showing him a new machine. He's been wanting to to learn how to uh, operate a machine, cut some cut something, so put him on the sidewinder. So I just went I just went through and I showed him how to operate it and this is the first Oh we missed it. This is his first uh his first pass with the sidewinder. Look at he's laser focused right now, look at him. Laser focused. That'll be it. I'm gonna have Dallas do this part three. Finish cutting this, and uh, that'll be it for the day. Pretty productive day. Okay, don't ride over that head. Don't ride or don't ride over the block. All right. Whew. But yeah, that'll be it for the day, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, we are back this warm Thursday morning, and uh, we're, we're starting a project today, edging all of the uh, bunkers. So today will consist of that. Uh, Quick's gonna go and do the greens, obviously. That's something that needs to be done every day, regardless. So he's gonna start off doing greens. Uh, Mikey D is gonna be doing some irrigation work and spraying. He's putting down. Uh, he's putting down the uh, fungicide, the iron, fungicide and iron and insecticide on the fairways and the tees. 
and then yeah the rest of us are going to be doing the bunkers edging the bunkers i'm going to i'm going to take all the new kids out and kind of show them how to do it what to do and then we'll go from there that should take most of the day and yeah it's supposed to be like 75 degrees and sunny so maybe not the best day to edge bunkers it's going to be hot as hell but we're going to get them all done try well maybe not all of them but we're going to get most of them done so yeah that's how the day is going to start They're in a little bit of shock, but they're okay. Shows a major. All right, so as you've seen, we were, we were uh, doing bunkers right now, edging them, but also we got quick. We have a couple uh, bad heads, leaks around the course. So we shut down the pumps so there's no water whatsoever right now. And quick is going around to all the bad leaks and heads, whatever, and he's digging them up, prepping them. And then Mikey D is following up behind him and fixing, the, uh, fixing all the, the bad heads and brakes, leaks, whatever. And right now I was just showing Dallas how to uh, drain the system. 
showing them where a couple of the drains were, so now he knows how to do that. Nature. Not that it's difficult, but it's good to know. If we tell him to go pop a drain, he knows where to go. There's, there's many, many drains on the course, but right here is a low point. So this is a, a one that we open up often to drain the system. There's a couple of them, one in the fairway, one right here, and one way down there. But yeah, let's go see what Quick's doing. And there's Mikey Quick. Digging up all the junk. This is our what? Well, that one is our fourth time fixing this one. But yeah, this head, they both have a, a small leak. It gets all mushy around it. So assuming it's probably a bad swing joint because these heads are brand new. If you watch back uh, a video ago, I showed you uh, the new heads, the Toro Infinity series. They're expensive, 400 a piece. So it can't, it's not the head, but it's a swing joint below it. You can actually see the drip. I don't know if that's maybe the thread or the... Well, either way, they're doing that. We're gonna get back to bunkers. It'll work. Smile, guys, you're on candid camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I brought about a hundred of them up. Bro, a hundred of those. Well, I didn't get this on video of me changing this, but that wasn't necessary. But Bill Menza, the guy that does cups, had called and said that today, at some, at some point today, somebody took a nice chunk out of number six green right by the hole, too. So I took the cup cutter and I swapped it out. So here's the, here's the nice chunk that they took out of the green. So it's the size of a cup. So I took that from right in the center here. It, like they did it right by the hole too. And I put, I took, see this is where I wish we had our nursery. I wish we had our greens nursery. But for now I just took from the edge of the green and took the edge of the green one and put it right here. I actually need to put a little water on this. But yeah, somebody did that today and just chunked it right up, right by the hole. But, got it taken care of. We're humming along pretty good. We're on six bunker right now. Now, if you had to pick somebody, who's the best worker in this bunker? Obviously, I'm not included. I know that. Oh, okay. Uh, Ethan, Ethan's okay. Ethan? He's, he, yeah, he's got some work to do. I'm gonna say Dawson over there. Look at him go. Yeah. He's he's going pretty good. Yeah, he's he's decent. Yeah, I'm not, just obviously excluding me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, he left you right out. Yeah, he's a good runner up. And Andre, Andre and Keith were not in the conversation. Unreal. Oh, they're, you know, Keith's new. He's got time. Andre, he's hustling. I gotta I got give it to Dawson, Dawson though. Look at him. Mm. He's, going, he's going good. He's a good edger. Edger? You ever see me on an edger? I'm way better on an actual edger. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. The, the Stang ovation. Wasn't, wasn't a big money hole. The money's on you, man. Well, somebody just had a nice putt, as you heard. Birdie. Birdie, birdie. Oh, wow. But yeah, so we got through one through seven today. Oh, four feet. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we had well, one through seven got done bunker wise edging them, so. It was a good day. Mikey D started fixing the leaks. I'm not sure he finished. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. We're gonna we're gonna call it. That was a long day. It's hot today. It's been it was like 75 degrees and sunny all day. 
So literally, we were at the beach all day without a lake. So yeah, that'll be it for today and we will see everybody tomorrow. Well, welcome back to this beautiful, warm Friday. As you see, we just cut the, uh, me and Mike just cut, Mikey D, me and Mikey D just cut the fairways. And uh, Quick got done with the greens and now he's on to fixing uh, a couple of the heads in the drains, picking up kind of where he left off yesterday. And uh, we got everybody else after they did their primary jobs, uh, continuing on doing edgy bunkers. So uh, right now I, I send Dallas out to help all the new kids and start doing edging bunkers and then uh, I'll park my machine and I'll go and head that way and make sure it's all good. And then when Mike, Mikey D's done cutting fairways, he's going to continue on fixing a leak on fairway 11. I, yeah, fairway 11. So that's how the day is going to continue on it'll be a lot of edging bunkers and fixing leaks and hopefully we get the leaks fixed because we have the system shut down right now and a lot of the fairways I've noticed have we're, we're getting hot spots everywhere there are a couple fairways in particular uh hole 10 has a, a couple bad hot spots hole 18 on the other side here has a couple bad hot spots hole 17 they're just scattered throughout the course so the fairways definitely 100% need water very soon All right, so right now they are uh, they're on uh, eight fairway doing the there's one two three fairway bunkers up there I went and marked them where we need to need them to uh, edge to and then I'm just a little bit ahead I'm gonna continue marking until they know where to go here so here going through and wherever that red line is they're gonna edge so yeah they these bunkers definitely definitely needed it so yeah we're gonna this is gonna be the rest of the day for these guys 
when when quick's done he's gonna when quick's done doing the uh the heads he's gonna come over and he's gonna start helping everybody is this is gonna be what the rest of the day, the day consists of and next week even they're not gonna finish today next week this will be their second job as well everybody everybody once they're done with their primary job hop on bunkers so yeah we're gonna be we're gonna be here for a while You just want it slow motion. I know. Dallas plays football, and uh, yesterday I kept throwing him a bug spray like he was a kick returner, and he could not catch one thing. It's tough. He could not catch it, and then he did the same. For, I caught it on the first time, so no excuse. Well, you threw it up to yourself like two feet. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, it's like on. a football. Oh, I can't see, son. And fail. What, what, that's no excuse. What do you say when the stadium lights are on? Sta stadium oh, lights. Yeah, All right, go, we'll go, over here. go this way. Go a little lower. Too. Uh, lower? I, this is like a punter. It's going high. There it is. <laughs> well, earlier, our lat, well, what was it? Two weeks ago in our board meeting, we proposed that Dallas gets a, uh, gets a raise, which he got. Me. Earned it, so he got a little raise, and uh, well, we've been teaching him other jobs. He learned the sidewinder, as you've seen a few videos ago, and now he's going to learn how to, uh, if we if we need uh, water hot spots, he's going to learn the heads and how to turn them on and off, and yada, yada, yada. He's going to learn all that, so he just got taught. Let's see him. Go ahead. <laughs> Perfect. Well, we got there. They got the front nine all edged and and looking good. All the bunkers on the front nine, and we're on ten right now. So they got a jump start on the back nine, edging bunkers. Well, they did that. We got the system going again. All the leaks fixed, and as you can see, this fairway. It's been a couple days, and we've had some hot dry no rain type of weather so i went through and i popped a few heads and i'm, I'm watering some of the spot uh soft our hot spots on the fairways but yeah i'm gonna do this for maybe 10 15 more 10 or 15 more minutes and then we're gonna get out of here but yeah thankfully we got the system going because god another day or two of this we'd actually lose turf it's pretty bad but yeah that is gonna be it for today That'll be it for the week. We have a, I forget what it's called, but some sort of veterans outing on Saturday. So we got the course, besides what you're looking at here, the hotspots, we got the course looking pretty damn good. And then me watering today, all these spots, and then tonight they're going to get 100% water with the computer. And then uh, tomorrow morning I might hit them a little bit more, and hopefully they won't look as bad. But yeah. That's going to be it for the week, and we'll see you next week, Monday. Oh, and like and subscribe if you would. Appreciate it. So a little bonus content. We went. To, I went down to uh, fill the... Uh, or start the pump up to fill our pond and as we're leaving noticed that I mean I don't think it had anything to do with that but so yeah smoke just pillowing out from underneath that telephone pole I'm not sure what the cause is probably won't know for a little bit but yeah that was wild